Example eight is uh, we're going to find the energy, the, the, ener the work it takes to assemble a uniformly charged spherical shell of total charge Q and radius R. So hopefully you're getting sick of seeing uniform spherical shells of radius R. Okay, so radius is R and total charge Q, right? Okay, so one way we can do this, I'm going to show you two ways, uh, just like the book does. One way is to do this. We say, well, the energy is one half the integral of the surface charge density times the potential times the area. Well, the surface charge density should be uh, constant as well as the potential. So the potential at radius r is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught total charge divided by the distance r. Okay, so all those are constants. Uh, sigma's, well, sigma, where does that guy go? He hangs out in the middle there. Okay, so we have Q over R, 4 pi epsilon naught, ah! And our sigma is going to hang out there. And now we have the integral of the surface area. Well, what's the surface area of a sphere? 4 pi R cubed. So we get 1 over half. 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Sigma times 4 r squared, 4 pi r squared. This is just going to be the total charge, right? So we have q squared over, where did my notes go? r. Okay, that was kind of easy. Let's do it a different way. We're going to say this time the work, the energy to assemble the thing was epsilon naught over 2 times the volume integral of e squared d tau. And what volume? All space. Otherwise that first term wouldn't drop off as we showed in the first. So this is all space. If we used any smaller space then we would have to include that first term uh, the v e vector dot d a. The, basically the flux. Okay. So what do we do here? What's the uh, electric field? Well the electric field at r, well we're going to do all space is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught of uh, Q over R squared R hat. Okay. And, um, oh, inside the sphere on, is uh, zero inside. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. So break this down into two integrals. We have the uh, integral on the inside of E vector squared D tau. Uh, plus the integral on the outside. So this is basically, um, uh, rewrite those integrals. Uh, so electric field inside is zero, so this becomes zero. Um, so this is going to be the integral, it's a triple integral, okay, of e squared, d tau is um, r squared, sine theta, dr, d theta, d phi. Is that correct? Let me double check my notes here. Yeah, that's correct. No, uh, we're not. You know what? We, we have to be doing that. r squared sine theta. Um, pardon me while I double check that I'm giving you the right information. R squared sine theta dr d theta d phi. My, I was right, my notes were wrong, okay? And um, so we're going to go from the radius from the surface r to there. We're gonna go through theta of zero to pi and we're gonna go through phi of zero to two pi, right? Okay, so let's break that out so we get Epsilon naught over 2. Well, the integral from 0 to 2 pi of d phi is just 2 pi. The integral of 0 to pi of sine theta d theta, well, the integral is minus cosine, so we go minus 1 uh, plus, um, no, it's, it's uh, sine theta, it's going to be 2. Okay, times 2. And then now we have this integral from r to infinity of e squared, which is just basically q squared over r to the fourth, one over four pi epsilon naught squared, um, 
times r squared dr. Okay, so this r goes down there, this dr goes over there. Uh, almost done. Um, so we have a case where these two cancel. So we have an r squared on the bottom. We don't have anything on the top. The q squared comes out. Let's start, let's start our new page here. So we get that's equal to epsilon naught over 2 times 2 pi times 2 times 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught squared times q squared integral from r to infinity of 1 over r squared dr. Maybe we could start canceling some factors out here. So epsilon naught over 2 uh, times 2 pi times 2. Let's, let's break this one out. So we have 16 pi squared epsilon naught squared times q squared. Okay. Now this integral is going to be a negative 1 over r evaluated between r and infinity. Uh, so, okay, we got twos that cancel there. This one's going to cancel. We're going to be left with the 8 down at the bottom. This one's going to cancel. We're going to have one of those. This one's going to cancel. We're going to have one of those. We have q squared. 1 half of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q squared times uh, so minus 1 over infinity plus 1 over r. That's obviously 0. So we have 1 over half 4 pi epsilon naught q squared over r, which, surprisingly enough, is exactly the answer we got earlier. So there's two ways to solve that. We could have used electric field and an infinite volume, or uh, you know all, all space, or we could have just you know calculated at the surface what the potential was and added it all up. There you go. That was kind of fun actually.